Hi everybody, happy new year. It's really cold out here today, so I've got a good book about snow. This one's called The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. So if you have this book at home, because some of you might have it, go and get it and then you can follow along while I say the words and we'll read it together. All right, The Snowy Day. One morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Then he dragged his feet very slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow. That made a new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. Uh-oh, he knocked the snow onto his head. And then look, there he goes walking again leaving footprints in the snow. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough, not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. Uh-oh. If he's taking really cold snow into a warm house, what might happen? Let's see. He told his mother all about his, his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Look, what's he doing now? He's taking a nice warm bubble bath. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. So what happened to the snowball? When he came and brought it into the warm house, it melted. It was too hot in the house. While he slept, he dreamed that the snow had melted all the way away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow all those beautiful snowflakes falling around them. The end. They had a beautiful snowy day. All right, I love that story and I hope you loved it too. So I'll be back another time with another story. Bye everybody.